Alright. So, okay, so we're gonna take you to court right now. Uh, Ace, you have runes, you said? Alright, I'm gonna drop. And you take the runes and you guys go. Ace on your lead. Just invite Ace and his buddy. I'm gonna go to orbit. I'm getting shot though right now. Alright, there you go. And that way you guys can go do that real quick and get that over with. And Don't join me, you're gonna be joining Aceon. Yeah. Cause you guys have runes. I don't have any runes on this guy. And I don't think I have any on my other characters either. I gotta look, but I don't have many. So I spent them all just recently. But yeah, just join him guys and then you guys will be able to do it. Oh man, too tired. Too tired. But yeah, we have six people, AC on, if uh, we can get him geared within the hour, we'll be ready to go. If not, then uh, you're gonna have to wait till you get about two, two eighty for the raid. I mean, I could take you at two seventy five. We're at the beginning part, so it's just gonna be really hard, and you're gonna have to be on point and not die. Where? Yeah, we're at the, we're at that yeah. part. Yeah. We can maybe do it if you permanent. Ace, like, I have permanent. another checkpoint that we ran last night. We defeated the second boss. We got him down last night, and then we moved on to uh, the sisters. We didn't kill the sisters though. So after sisters, it's Oryx, and then it's the raid is complete for the week. If we pair with a good partner, you could do it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get all that. We're gonna do that. That's why my Titan has multiple checkpoints for people to get gear on and, and whatnot. So. Alright, so while you guys do that, Pro is gonna go farm some uh, strikes real quick. Because Pro needs to get more legendaries so that he can get more of those marks. And then I will buy the tracking rocket for my hunter and I will bump it up to decent level. But yeah, we just need to have everyone at a decent uh, level. Otherwise, like I said, you, you will probably die like further down the raid 
and the drops are the, the drops are pretty like abysmal. Like, cause sometimes you'll get gear, and other times you're not gonna get gear. So don't shoot the don't shoot the cursor throw unless they're like right next to him like that after you guys did it. Funny story for you. Remember that Centurion Oryx took right after you landed on the Red Knot? Then the Centurion and the Taken Ogre tried to stop you from killing the king. <laughs> Didn't work. So and then if uh. Angry they lost their commander. They're leading a team to blow the Dreadnought's core. Core goes. If you do end up getting drops though from the raid, you'll be fine. But it's a matter of getting the drops. If like, because sometimes you're not gonna get them. It's really stupid. And I take it back, Aceon. I have seven. Sorry, seventeen left. Uh, 17 of those, uh, three of coin things. I'm probably actually gonna use them, though, on the glitch for my Warlock. Because Bungie, for some reason, uh, well, the first week of the three of coins when Taken King came out, the three of coins, you could spam a, you could spam a strike and keep killing the same guy over and over, as long as you killed yourself. Um, the checkpoint would restart. Not the three of coins, but the checkpoint would, so you didn't have to, like, start the whole strike over or whatever. Bungie fixed it. Bungie fixed it though. And so you can't do that anymore. But that was how everyone farmed all like the exotic weapons in the first week. Bungie then fixed it. And for some reason my warlock can still do it. Like it still works for him. It won't work for my other characters, but my warlock it will. Like I get drops all day in there on my warlock. And then when I run strikes or whatever on my other characters, I never get jack shit. So people are saying, oh, run strikes. You'll get a bunch of exotics and strikes. I've ran multiple strikes. I haven't gotten shit, so. Wait, who's in the party right now? Let me check. Red, I, I sent you a request. You got it, Red, or what? Alright. Well, I'm gonna... The raid's gonna be starting here pretty soon. So, if you don't get 280 tonight, that's fine. I have other checkpoints that I can bring you in. And we can try. Or I can just help you. I can help you uh, get light. Or we could just run it Tuesday, because we most likely will be running it Tuesday anyways again. I'm trying to gear people. That's why I have all the checkpoints on all the characters, so that people can get their uh, their gear and stuff like that. So, we just have to get you to 280 before next Tuesday. Shouldn't be hard if we keep running the thing. It's just time consuming because you some drops you're gonna get are like 260, so they don't help you. You're just gonna dismantle them. And then you also need to have legendary marks and all that stuff as well, which is a pain in the ass. Fuck, man. Okay. 
Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. It depends on if you use the rune. If you don't use the rune, you won't get. Sh you might not get shit. But if you do use it, you will. Yeah, you want to use a rune. If you have a rune, you want to use it. Just make sure no one else pops it before you. Like, so make sure that you have clear access to pop your rune. Because sometimes if someone pops one when you do, it's gonna count as theirs, and then you just wasted a rune. So just make sure you are using it when no one else is. Fuck, I'm dead again. God damn it. Where are my teammates? What are you all doing? God, these kids are bad. Yeah, as long as it's a rune that you have, you'll get rewards for it. But just make sure that when you use it, no one else is using their rune because sometimes it will take your rune and not give it back. Yeah, that's a tier 1 rune, and then the tier 2 is called a stolen rune, and the tier 3 is the antiquated rune. The tier 3 rune is the hardest rune to use. It's like a 280 or 240, I don't know what it is, 260, something like that? I don't know. It's actually 300. Yeah, you have to use it against the statue. Just make sure no one else is using theirs and you'll be alright. So now go up to the portal where everyone else is and wait for the ads to spawn then run away from the portal and blow everything up. If it's the three witches you have to kill all three at the same time. If it's the two knights they have to be close together so you want to have everyone stack up on the, the knight with the gun or whatever the plasma gun. If it's the ogre, you want to get the explosive thralls to blow them up. And if it's just one knight, if it's one knight, then all you have to do is use whatever damage modifier his shield is. So if he's got an arc shield, use arc weapons and so forth. Although you can the rune again, you have to go against the portal. There are new missions hooked up to each. Yeah, and you can get free blues from that if you pop the rune, so. As long as you kill the boss. Some of them will be 260. Some of them will be 290. It's all random. That's how Bungie is. You still have a rune? 